SCP-964, object class Euclid. SCP-964 is a prototype of a next-generation active camouflage system developed by... <laughs> under a contract with the U.S. DOD. The object was recovered in 2004 from a... <laughs> facility near... Nebraska. SCP-964 displays the ability to reconstruct itself on the atomic level. This reconstruction process can take up to 16 hours and causes a complete change of the object's appearance, physical properties, and chemical composition. The result is usually a solid, commonly encountered object weighing between 2 and 100 kilograms and not displaying dangerous or anomalous properties. In rare cases, high-energy, radioactive, or explosive objects, unenclosed fluids, living entities, and objects with mass up to 65 tons have been observed. Although the new reconstruction can be theoretically postponed indefinitely, SCP-964 has not remained stable for more than two weeks since containment by the SCP Foundation. SCP-964 will initiate the reconstruction process whenever it detects permanent data related to its current manifestation. This encompasses all known data formats and storage mediums, including text, photographic materials, encrypted digital data, and human long-term memory. This reaction can be displayed by increasing the medium's complexity and distance from SCP-964, while no method of completely stopping this phenomenon has been found so far, Protocols 964-6A-R proved mostly successful in minimizing the dangers it can represent to on-site personnel. Incident Report 964-11 on September 22nd, 2006, the message SCP-964 exists was used to trigger reconstruction process as part of scheduled testing and object self-preservation mechanisms. After the start of reconstruction, object was observed to rapidly lose mass until it completely disintegrated. SCP-964 was subsequently reclassified as neutralized. Two months after the incident, a series of accidents suggesting SCP-964 involvement was reported in Sweden. Object successfully recontained. Incident Report 964-23 On January 15, 2008, after a typical reconstruction process, SCP-964 at the time contained at Site-30, turned into approximately 50 liters of an unidentified acidic solution. SCP-964 melted the floor of its containment chamber and proceeded to leak through a maintenance shaft until it initiated a new reconstruction process in a corridor of four levels below. Site-30 security was dispatched to the site of the incident. After their arrival, close proximity to several... Video recorders caused SCP-964 to undergo a rapid series of transformations culminating with a 20-meter 20, 20 diameter sphere of high-temperature plasma. SCP-964 was subsequently found in debris, manifested as a 2-meter tall stuffed toy bear, and relocated to another site. Addendum 964-A in light of Incident 964-23, personnel of the site housing SCP-964 are no longer allowed access to documentation related to the object or to the object itself. Information included in transfer documents must be replaced with Document 964-R. Document 964-R must classify at SCP-964 as a Keter-level object and contain a fabricated description of the object composed from the properties most likely to cause a containment breach in events they are displayed by SCP-964. Special Containment Procedures SCP-964 is currently stored in a standard containment chamber at Site-45. Access to the object is prohibited for all personnel of Site-45, regardless of security level. In the event of a containment breach, Site-Security must eva evacuate 
all compromised sectors, contact Site 11 and await arrival of MTF teams tasked with objects recontainment. Site 45 staff that came in contact with SCP-964 must be processed according to Protocol 964-Delta-6H. If number of affected personnel exceeds 20% or Protocol 964-Delta-6H cannot be enacted, SCP-964 must be relocated to another site immediately. Research on SCP-964 must be conducted remotely using suitable Foundation facilities located at least 200 kilometers from the site currently housing the object. All interactions with SCP-964 related materials must be done according to Protocol 964-Delta-6D. All documentation on SCP-964 must be transferred into digital format weekly and hard copies subsequently incinerated. All digital data must be processed according to Protocol 964-Delta-6R once every two weeks.